Getting ready to shut it down. Friday night nightcap. Eric with the hot box pizza truck. Art with La Florita. How you doing guys? No pressure. Making him and his old lady a pizza. Stretched enough, right? Oh yeah. Third pizza anymore? We, uh, I'm not, this is your pizza. Oh, so I don't want to torture it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's already stretched. Art's, uh, kind when he makes his pizzas because I'd have about 10 more pepperonis on there. Uh, so I appreciate that. I'm not going crazy. So we got to do a, uh, we messed, I messed around with the brush this morning. A subscriber gave us a, uh, get busy, I want to go home. Oh. <laughs> subscriber gave me a tip on, uh, thanks Paul, on the uh, GI brush. We drilled four holes where the spikes go to try to get them to set down in there. And it definitely helps. It's still a little movement. Uh, eventually I think it'll have to go double screw to keep it in place. Beautiful bristle brush, but um, yeah, it's kind of a poor design on how they put it on there. Give it a sweep with your brush. Let's see it, let's see it in action. Yeah, that thing definitely is a nice bristle. It's like pim 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 in two shots, it's all clean. Yeah, it's a nice bristle, that's for sure. The head's just, the way they, the way they attach it, it's cheap. And there was some question on this GI peel if we had it upside down. We did not. After some extensive research, yes, that's the this right way. Is With the, the way go down. This way is proper. This is the bottom. This is not the top. You've got three sharp rivets there and two sharp corners here. Incorrect. This is definitely all the videos and all the pictures and the advertisements and everything I could find online. That's the top. That's the top when it's dented down the metal those this diamond shape design now this is too long only because we're in the truck here it would be nice to have it shorter art might have to cut it down he likes the length which is the length is I nice like because you can for my hands yeah I like it. well eventually you'll just get a, a a leather arm like mine from the heat it just it, it is nice to have the length but in the truck it's not uh it's not not a good deal Art made a pizza last night after we did our review and he went to take it out and put it in the box and it, the peel's so long he smashed it. this thing and it just... He smashed that and it threw the pizza off of the peel and flipped it upside down in the box. <laughs> it was a mess. It was five inches from the box. I was like... I wish, I wish we were recording, but we weren't. Look at that beauty. I, I love this feel. Like, look, look at me. Like, I feel like a ninja. Well, I'm glad you like it because it's yours. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I recommend. He's working it. He's working it. I just didn't like the flimsiness of it. That's all. And I, I'm not used to the handle. And I definitely would tweak that head. I'd bend that head on an angle so that way it's not coming up into the bottom of the pie which is no big deal. I already tweaked it when Art wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy's confident with this I'm thing. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. It's not heavy for me because I'm probably my, my hands are weaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too heavy for me, so I'm kind of enjoying it. Yours, it's like heavy duty, but it's like... Yeah, mine just feels solid. Gym, mine right? feels solid in my hands, and I like that. The one thing I noticed, you know, most of the time when you're sweeping your oven, you're just doing a quick little brush brush. Your biggest sweep is first thing in the morning when you move your coals. And I swept it this morning with that new peel, or that new brush, and the brush is beautiful. Really nice bristles. But that aluminum pole heated up so fast, it was unbelievable. Art always likes his a little, I like mine a little more finished, but. Smooth, finished. Oh, it's a little bit wider than yours? Yeah, I think maybe you had the dough upside down. 
We're working on getting consistency. Today, of yeah, this today we were working on uh, trying to get the stretch down so where you have a nice even crust, and that's that's a nice even crust. Getting close. Beautiful. Guys, have a great weekend. Uh, like, subscribe. Thanks for that uh, tip, Paul, on the on the pizza brush. That definitely worked out. Um, if you have any questions. Yeah, we're gonna do a review on the pizza cutters coming up. Those guys here. We got a whole handful. Um, already, the initial uh, reviews are. You don't got to spend a lot of money on this stuff. We have four bucks, five bucks. Or five twenty-five. That's the um, dough mate. We have the G I metal made in Italy. G I made in Italy. G I metal made in Italy. G I made in Italy. And G I made in China from some reason. Yep. And if and then we have the dollar store, the dollar tree <laughs> that we're gonna test it just like a spatula, how you call it. And if none of that works, I have I just happen to have some, uh, my drywall kit in my truck because I've been doing some we're gonna be trying those some drywall <laughs> work. We've got these we can always try too. Maybe it's gonna be the best tool. And look at this, to be honest, where is it at? This plastic one from it's probably you know those cost a dollar. Bum, 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 bum. Those cost a dollar. These these this cost $12. $12. Yes. And I'm, I already know which one's better. <laughs> guys, see you later. See you guys. Have a wonderful night. Little Friday check-in. You guys have a great one.